now that WAMP is installed on your computer, we can write a couple of uh, test scripts. We're going to write uh, a, a script called hello PHP and one called php info.php. Here's the text for them. I'm going to use Notepad. There is a segment in the assignment that explains a little bit more about uh, what notepads or note taking software you might consider. So I'm going to move that to the side so I can write it a little bit better. I'm simply going to copy this text, your first PHP scripts, uh, first part, and we're going to do hello world. I'll start out by uh, declaring that this is a PHP program, the less than bracket, the angle bracket uh, burning, pointing left, and then question mark, and PHP declares that this is PHP code. The next line simply is a a message to people reading the code. This is a simple greeting message, slash slash, says this is a, just a remark, just a comment, simple greeting message. Here I'm also going to put in my initial and last name. You do the same and that'll tell me that this is your program. Next, the uh, first command you'll learn, it's echo. Echo simply displays a message. In this case, it will be a string, which is declared by a double quotes, just a quotation mark. And we can say, hello world, exclamation point, and close the quotes. And then since we come to the end of that command, we finish it off with a semicolon. And the next line, I will close the PHP code by typing a question mark and the greater than symbol, the other angle bracket, and save this as hello.php. We're going to save this in the computer on drive C in the folder that we created, mine is called WAMP, maybe yours is WAMP64, maybe WAMP32 if you were able to get the 32-bit, double click WAMP. We're going to put in all our stuff inside the www folder. And I have already created a folder called HTML. Let me delete it to show you how to create a new one. I'll delete that. And uh, just type, or rather click, on the Create New Folder icon. I'm not sure at the moment, but in Windows 10, I think that you may have a box that says Create New Folder. Same action and call that folder HTML because there will be plenty of HTML code that we're going to be writing. Double click to enter and this will be called hello and dot PHP. By doing that you don't have to tell it which type you're declaring in a PHP document. And I can't tell with my glasses but I think that's a comma instead of a period. Let me change that. And I'll click Save. The uh, Notepad++ program recognizes the PHP code, and you'll see that it, it's treating everything a little bit differently, and it's easier to read once you can tell what's a command and what's a, uh, a comment and what is just a declaration. Now that this is saved, I'll uh, open up a new tab, just so I have somewhere to play. When I click on the local server in WAMP, just a left click and visit my local host, I'll be adding slash HTML to it. I'll see my HTML directory inside the local host and I'll click on hello.php, which in turn will then give me just a message, hello world, as it's a uh, interpreted the code as PHP and ignored the remark and just echoed the words hello world. If I right click inside this uh, window, I can tell it to show me the page source. And as you can see, there's no code there. All it's doing is echoing hello world. This is something that uh, we'll be seeing 
as we start to code web pages with PHP. It's not so much that it is an active uh, language that's being constantly interpreted, but rather the server takes charge and actually creates a page for you. I'll close that tab. This one as well, and I guess I didn't need that first tab. I'll close the hello PHP and I'll create my second script. Same process. Type in uh, angle brackets question mark PHP. PHP 5, it used to be that you wouldn't notate the PHP, you would just put in the question mark. Let's uh, stick with uh, declaring the whole thing. I'll put in my uh, remarks, show all information, and that defaults. Let me spell information correctly. To info all. And then type in the command php info with a null value, so that's two parentheses, opening and closing, and then the semicolon to uh, close that command, and type in question mark angle bracket. I'm going to save this file in the same directory, HTML. I'm going to call it PHP info. And uh, .php save it and uh, let's uh, with the same process go to our well I guess I don't need to open up that tab I just go into uh, the WAMP localhost I wish I could it would be as easy as clicking on your projects minus gave me an error but all you really need to do is in localhost type in slash and HTML you'll get your directory here's my PHP info.php and then I get a whole slew of what WAMP is actually running uh, it's running uh, on Windows NNT system such as Windows 7 um, it's got the uh, Visual C++ extensions and it says 64-bit architecture and a whole bunch of other commands uh, or rather information. The important thing here is that the Apache version, the PHP we're running is 7.1.9. So to complete this exercise, click on your first PHP scripts and to upload multiple files at the bottom browse my computer. Uh, go to your computer C drive WAMP and inside the uh, I click too much www there's my HTML and I want hello PHP to open and then browse my computer again and PHP info.php and click submit and uh, you're done next will be uh, trying to connect to your online server and uh, repeat this feat and move on with PHP.